Eyelash Health, how to get the most out of your eyelashes. So if you follow me to any extent on social media, I'm always complaining about how thin the hair on my head is and how my eyelashes and eyebrows, it looked like I was burned to fire. I've never had a lot of hair. Even as a little girl, I think I was bald until I was two. And my hair's always been really baby fine thin, including my eyelashes. Throughout the years, I would say probably when I was 19, I have little stints of my eyelashes falling out. I don't have a rhyme or a reason to why it happens, but it does. Happened one time, I remember when I was working at Clinique, maybe around 18 or 19 years old, just 16 holes where my eyelashes were. Could have been from a faulty eyelash curler that I didn't replace the wand, or sorry, the pad, the sponge pad, whatever it was. It's really sad to not have your eyelashes. It's kind of funny how much confidence us women put into having pretty eyelashes. So I wanna go over a couple of things that I do today on my eyelashes and my eyebrows to tell you guys my beauty tips and tricks to how I look like I have hair around my eyes. So about, I would say three or four months ago, it happened again. Um, actually, back in January is when it happened, happened. My eyelashes all just fell out again. I was in Cabo using an eyelash curler. I think it had a bad pad in it but my eyelashes were so brittle and I noticed even before that just pieces were like falling out. Um, throughout the day I would just see eyelashes all over my cheekbones. It just progressively got worse until there was like two gaps on my right eye and I was posting pictures on social media saying, what's happening to me? And so I messaged Sheena Garner. She is my eye doctor. She's the one who owns Eyebar. Some of you guys shop with Ginger Kelly Cosmetics over there. She also sells my brand. But I called her and said, this is a state of emergency. I'm going bald on my eyelashes. It's getting to the point where I think I have like four eyelashes left. Help me. So I went to go visit her and she prescribed me erythromycin. And I tried to be very diligent about using it every single night, making sure I took off all of my makeup and then putting this cream all around my eye. I don't really know for sure what erythromycin is, but I'm sure some of you guys know. But I put that all around my lash line and then I went on Amazon and I purchased Hairfinity. So I'm gonna read some of these ingredients in here. It's got uh, biotin, which we all know is really good for hair, nails, and skin. Vitamin A, C, D, riboflavin, whatever that is, that's in there too. Niacin, vitamin B6, B12, calcium, and a bunch of other goodies. So I was taking that, plus she told me to take Omega-3. So I also went and bought Nordic Naturals, which is the brand she recommended for me. And I got the Omega-3 with Primrose. So I was taking the Omega-3, Hairfinity, and that, and within one week, and I'm gonna show you guys some pictures, all of these new hairs started sprouting up. It was like pepper flakes everywhere. I couldn't believe it. It only took seven days. And this was like five months with no hair. I could not get it to grow back, not using mascara or an eyelash curler. And in seven days, her recipe worked. Then about maybe two weeks before I started using that recipe, I had seen a client with really thick, full lashes, and she told me about Babe Lash. I kept hearing about Rodent and Fields, of course, Latisse, we all know Latisse, Revitalash. I had been using New Lash since my days at Neiman Marcus. There's so many different brands out there that it's almost overwhelming, like which one am I supposed to use? But with my sensitive skin, it did not like the Rodent and Fields. Nothing against that brand. I'm just super sensitive and I can't handle a lot of harsh chemicals. So I needed something that was calming and that didn't irritate my pink, lily white, porcelain skin. So then I took the plunge and I went to Amazon and I got the Babe Lash. So I bought the smaller size just to make sure I didn't have any skin irritation and right away I started seeing results. I mean, it was just like two weeks. It was Sheena's recipe, this, everything started, you know, looking fuller, it wasn't just the hair that was growing in, the other hair around the hair that I had left was also growing in too. So I started telling you guys about it, my followers started buying it, and within two weeks they were telling me how much they loved it. So after two months, my eyelashes were twice the size, they had completely filled in, they looked like they look now, I was so excited that I wanted to share the love with all of you guys. So I called the manufacturer to become an authorized dealer of this crack here, Babe Lash, and so now we sell it. So a smaller tube is this little guy right here. This is the two milliliter size. This lasts three months, and that's if you were to use it every single day. And this is what the tube looks like. I think they actually both look the same. I haven't bought the big one yet. The big one looks like this. So they just recently changed their packaging, so I do wanna say it's the same thing. It's their eyelash serum, which I think they're calling the essential serum now, but it's the same thing. It's lash growing technology. Um, two, four milliliter. And like I said, the two milliliter is three months if you use it once a day, which is all you should be using it. And then the four milliliter is a full six month supply. So a lot of people ask what it looks like on the inside and it comes with a seal on it. So I didn't want to break the seal. So I just brought mine from home to show you guys that the applicator is actually just like a liquid eyeliner. 
but it's a clear fluid that you just paint, right? Oops, just spilled some of that liquid gold. But you just paint this right up against your upper lash line. You don't want to paint the hair with it like you're putting on mascara. You just want to paint right at the root, touching the skin and the root of the lash. Only one dip is enough for both of your eyes. If you're double dipping or doing three or four layers of it thinking that it's going to work faster, you're just wasting product and you're only going to get a month out of it. So anyway, I love Babe Lash and it's available on my website if you want to purchase it or in our flagship location in Houston, Texas. Okay, now let's talk about eyelash curlers. So to get the most out of your lashes, if your lashes are not curly and they grow straight or like mine, every which direction, you gotta pick those suckers up. So I've got two eyelash curlers that I often talk about. We've got the Laura Mercier one or we've got the traditionally shaped eyelash curler from Tweezer Man. There's a lot of good brands out there for this one, but I find this one opens up a little bit more so it's easier to get my lashes in there more than the Shoot Ulmora brand does. Um, it's the one that I get at CVS, little blue pad. You can also get it at Amazon and I also like it because I don't feel like it really pinches on the side of my eye. Um, you know, sometimes if you get the skin in the corners, that does not feel very good. But it gives a really nice tight curl. My ultimate favorite is the Laura Mercier. But I'm going to be really honest. And I'm going to give you my, I'm going to give you the, the bad news about this too. But this is like $16 to $18. I love it because there's no edges to it, so it's nearly impossible to pinch yourself unless you just grab your eyelid with this part. But it's so thin from the side that I feel like it gives a really nice sharp curl, making them stand straight up. So this is the one I use every day at home. When I'm doing customers, I do this. And the reason being is this little guy, it's made of plastic, I don't know why, it's not strong enough on that hinge, but I go through one of these like once every two or three months, and I hate having to constantly rebuy. So I just feel like it's not very durable, um, which is why I don't want to use it here in the store. It just cost me too much money if I was replacing them once a week, but I do feel like it gives a better curl. Both of these can be found on Amazon or in department stores or over the counter if you're getting a tweezer man. So now I want to talk about how we actually take off the makeup and condition our eyelashes at the same time. So back when I first started selling skincare at an oil-free eye makeup remover, a lot of brands sell both, but I felt like you had to do so much scrubbing and tugging to take it off. And if you think about it, you're putting a lot of harsh things on your eyelashes that grab a hold, like a waterproof mascara. You want something that's very delicately going to remove that mascara. So I found that when I added castor oil to my eye makeup remover, it actually made it come off so much easier with like a couple of swipes and all the mascara was gone. I've also found that I don't need to use cotton pads or Q-tips. I actually pump one or two pumps of this in the palm of my hand and I use my middle finger and my ring finger and just kind of massage it onto my lashes, blink into it, and then I rinse it off when I wash off my face makeup. If you wear a lot of eye makeup, you may have to go through that process twice. But when I added castor oil to it, I did that with the intent to condition your eyelashes. So we all know that you can go to CVS and grab one of those $3 bottles of castor oil to help strengthen and condition your lashes and keep them from becoming brittle and breaking off. But why not just add it to your eye makeup remover and make it a two for one? So I hope some of these tips and tricks help you grow longer lashes or make your lashes stand out and fan out more. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.